So hi everyone, it's Carly Reese and welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be showing you guys my makeup collection. So I actually have a ton of makeup, most of it is like drugstore products from like Target, Kroger, Walgreens, a lot of stuff like that. And then I guess there's several things that I got from like Ulta or like Sephora, so more like brand products. Let's get on with the video. So I just made a video where I was showing you guys my makeup routine that I use every single day, which means a lot of the products I'm going to be showing you, you kind of have already seen because I showed them off in my makeup routine, but some products I didn't really like show to you guys, so kind of going to go through that, kind of going to tell you more in-depth things. And then I have this huge bag of makeup products, which is why like I'm just going to be like, I have this beauty blender that I got from Target. I'm just going to kind of go through, tell you where I got it from, and if there's a huge like story behind it. So all the first things I'm going to show you is mostly everything that I used in my daily makeup routine. And there's also some things in there that I didn't show, plus I have a little bit of extra things here that I use every once in a while that I wouldn't necessarily have to show in my daily routine. First that I keep in here is this Maybelline Fit Me. And the reason I keep this in here is because it's a lot of a lighter tone and usually my friends like Melanie ask me to do her makeup so I just have this in here in case any of my friends need makeup. Then if I'm ever going to like an event, I have an eyeliner in here or I use this for like dance makeup. This is the tattoo liner. So next I have a ton of brushes that are from Vanity Planet. Pretty sure there was a YouTuber that I was watching. I think it might have been RCL Beauty one time. And she showed like this huge brush kit with a ton of these brushes. That was $100 and I think it was like 70% off so I got it for like $30 or $20, I'm not very sure. But anyway, so I use this brush sometimes to contour and highlight and this is just like my foundation brush. So I have a ton of these brushes, I have a ton of these brushes which I'll end up showing you that are in that package. My last video I talked about this, I have the Tarte Shape Tape in shade, in shade medium. I got this from Ulta. Then I have this mascara that I got from Ulta. It is Benefit Bad Gal Lash. This was also in my daily makeup routine. I also got this mascara from Ulta. It's Better Than Sex by Too Faced, but this is a waterproof version, which I don't really think is that waterproof, but I kind of like it better than like the just original one because the original one gets all over the place. Then I have a ton of these brushes, which you couldn't even, which you could ask me a hundred times and I've, I would have no idea where they came from. I think they might be from maybe Amazon, I would have to guess. But my mom bought me them because she thought they were super cute and they would be super cute in pictures. Because, and they were like ombre. But I ended up using them and I have a ton of these, which I'll also show you. And now they're kind of ruined. And I use these whenever I do eyeshadow looks, but that isn't too frequent. So this right here came with a palette that actually ended up breaking. It was a huge eyeshadow palette. And like the, like, here's like the palette. And then there was like the glass thing that like opened. It was plastic, not glass. And it ended up breaking and cracking and falling off. So it was kind of destroyed in the inside anyway. So I kind of had to get rid of it. But it came with this brush. It was a Profusion palette and it has like... It has two sides. I also use this whenever I do eyeshadow palettes. It's so helpful. I use that like on the upper part and that on the lid. Then this is my favorite foundation of all time and it makes me so upset because I used to buy it from Amazon all the time and the shade that I needed is actually sold out. So it makes me so upset. It was just a stick foundation and if you guys can see it's completely empty. So if any of you have ever seen this product, we I looked at Target and I think I looked in Ulta and this is like not in either of the stores. It's Sonia Kushuk. Just if you guys end up finding these anywhere, please tell me because I've had three of these before and then I went to go look on Amazon to buy a new one and it says we don't sell these products anymore and I was like, are you kidding me? Then I have this chapstick which I also showed in my daily makeup routine. This I actually got it from Walgreens. It's just a chapstick brand, Classical Cherry. Then I have my eyelash curler, which I also got from Walgreens. They sell a ton of eyelash curlers at Walgreens, and that's where I got mine from. One time, I bought a ton of e.l.f. brushes from Target, and they're very nice and soft. So I have this one, which I use sometimes for contouring or just anything else. I mostly use this for contouring or any other thing that I need. The last thing in the little glass bucket was this, the Color FX, which I ordered off Amazon. It's just like a little like squirt highlight. I'll show you guys like that. Stylish. 
Some things that I keep in the drawer along with the plastic bin are just like my foundation. There's little like smears and it's like everywhere, but I got this from Walgreens. Neutrogena foundation is the best and I am a shade Fresh Beige 70. Some other things that I keep in the drawer are these false eyelashes, which I've only used once and I plan on using them at like homecoming or other special events, but I did get these from Target. Then this was also in my um, daily makeup routine, even though I don't wear this every day, but it is just Maybelline New York. Not very sure where I got this from. It might have been Ulta or Target, I believe, but it's just contour, blush, and highlight palette. I have no idea what brand this is. I've seen it before. It's like the C and then the G. I th Cover Girl? Is that what this is? I think this is Cover Girl. It's a CG on it, but I feel dumb if I'm saying that wrong, so like, don't judge me. But this is just a powder. I don't really use it that often because I feel like it makes my face look very uneven. Then I have these two beauty blenders. I think I got, I got this one in the FabFitFun box and... Uh, this super cute one from Target that I definitely need to get new ones of because they have like makeup access everywhere and no matter how many times I wash it, it does not come off. The last thing I have outside of my black box is my Jaclyn Hill palette, which I'm actually in love with. There's sometimes when I randomly just go and put makeup all over my face. There's just sometimes I randomly just want to come up with like some eye makeup ideas, so... I just play in this palette all the time, just try making it look super clean. And I actually got this from a friend for my birthday. The first thing we're gonna start with is this Urban Decay palette, which I know is not a drugstore product, that's why I decided to start with it. It's from Ulta, I believe, but I got this for my birthday when I was like seven years old. And as you can tell, a 10 or nine year old doesn't keep things clean. This palette is literally destroyed. <sighs> then I'm pretty sure I have three of these somewhere in the bag. They're just little elf eyeshadows. I have a NYX blush. I have a Ulta Beauty, which I'm pretty sure they give these out for free all the time. This is like a gel eyeshadow, and I get highlighters from there all the time. Mono, oops, I think is how you pronounce it. I used to use this all the time when I was like 10, and I thought I could do makeup. <laughs> now this is Maybelline I. Maybelline New York Eye Studio. This is from Walgreens. I'm not even sure if you can even buy these things anymore because of how old half the stuff is. Like. So here is actually the little like bag that came with the uh, Vanity Planet um, makeup brushes. But in here I have a ton of makeup brushes which I can't really all pull out and go through them. So I'm kind of just going to hold them up and try to tell you guys where they're from. So this one is Vanity Planet. All these little oval brushes, these ones, are all from Amazon. I have this which goes with the e.l.f. ones I got from Target along with this one. And then the this and this are both e.l.f. that I got from Target a long time ago. Oh, these two down here are from, like, the e.l.f. Target one, too. All the ones with, like, the brown, like, tips, like that one and that one and that one are all from Vanity Planet. I've been looking for the setting spray for such a long time, and I had no idea where it went. It must have gotten lost or something, but this is the Urban Decay Setting Spray All Nighter. It's literally so good, and it smells so good. That's why I just sprayed it all over my face. So, I think I've had this pl I think I've had this plenty of different times. I'm. This is Maybelline. You can get it from Walgreens, Target, or anything like that. It's kind of like a cheapy um, concealer. It kind of works pretty well. This is a Smashbox lid primer. I got this from Sephora a while ago. You just put it on your eyelids and it's kind of a primer so your eyeshadow stays on longer. This is the first mascara I have ever had. This is literally when I was like 8 years old. But this is the Revlon Lash Portion by Grow Luscious. I guarantee you could search everywhere you wanted to and never find this mascara. I was literally addicted to it. I wore it every single day and I would literally go like this and I would spread it all the way across my eyelid and I would wear it every day. Then this is an Ulta Beauty Clear Brow Gel which I've never used this before and I didn't even know I had it which is super convenient because my eyebrows always go all over the place and I feel like this actually works really well. Dang. Then, this is another mascara that I had a long time ago. This is Rimmel. I've never heard of that before. I didn't even know that was a makeup brand. Rimmel Lash Acceleration Endless. This is so long. And this, I'm pretty sure I remember having this mascara. I remember using it 
but I've never heard of the brand Rimmel, Rimmel London is the name of this brand, which I don't recall being a thing, but no problem. Here's more of the mermaid brushes. Me being a little kid, I used to be obsessed with EOS. If you're like me, you would collect a hundred of these when you were like 10 or nine years old. I have this mint one, I have this tangerine one. I don't even know what that is. I think that's like lime. I don't know if this is cherry. I don't know if that's pomegranate. And I don't, I don't even know what any of these are, but I used to be addicted to them. So I have like 3 million and I can't even explain to you. I used to write little faces on every single one of them and I'm just weird. Which I guarantee you could get from Target. The problem I always have with this is I don't know if it opens from the pink end or the red end. Because look, they both look like caps. Pretty sure it's the red end, yeah. But this mascara is actually really good. Look at it. It's Maybelline has some pretty good mascaras. And I have like 800 of them in here. This used to be my all-time favorite mascara. I literally have two in here. It's the Rocket Mascara. This mascara is so good. It's by CoverGirl. It's really good. It's waterproof. And I can't even explain to you guys how good it is. Courtney actually told me to use this. And I literally am in love with it. I don't even remember even having it. And I need to add it to my plastic box over here. Because it's amazing. Then for Christmas, I believe. I think it was Christmas. I got a ton of these little Ulta Beauty things. I got a ton of liquid lipsticks. Which are these short little stubby ones. I have them in these three colors and this color, which is like more shimmery. And then it came with a ton of lip liners in purple, pink, brown, and like burgundy. And then here are like, and these are eye duos. There's a liner and then a shadow, which are super cool. There's these three, and I believe there's another one somewhere in this bag. If I find it, I'll tell you guys. I got this for, uh, I think it was one of the Christmas, like, everyday boxes. And, oh my god, it's so relaxing. It's like this mint. It's Mint Maniac. It's not even, like, a lip gloss. It's from e.l.f. And you just sit and rub it on your lips. And it's kind of like a, just like a little tiny lip scrub. And it feels so amazing. I used to be a big fan of BB cream, but I don't use that, unfortunately, anymore. A great lash mascara, which you can get from Target or Walgreens or any drugstore. So, as you guys can tell from this video, um, I barely even knew I had half of those products. And you kind of also learned that I'm a sucker for makeup, which is why I have like 300 things. is because I see something and then I buy it. But you can tell I'm like that because out of all of those products... I added a ton of stuff to my little plastic bin of my daily makeup stuff, so yeah. And if you didn't see my daily makeup routine, make sure you go check that out. Make sure you thumbs up this video, subscribe to my channel, leave a like in the comments. See you guys in the next video. Bye!